about what we're doing is that we are teaching, I'm going to use Let's Go. And if we are teaching just the textbook, we are teaching English. But we're not teaching anything communicative. All right? Okay, that's reality check one. If we are just teaching that textbook, that doesn't mean that we are teaching communication. Okay? Reality check two. The only way that we're teaching communication is when students are able to convey their own feelings, their abilities, and their likes and dislikes. That's communicative. Now, way back when, when I was uh, teaching with Let's Go, I used to add on things to Let's Go. And I thought, this was good. I'm going to do going to introduce some of this stuff and this stuff and everything. But these were just sort of like add-ons. And it didn't really have a sense of direction. The sense of direction that we need to be focused on is about teaching the Let's Go material, but creating a parallel track that is teaching how the students can become more and more communicative. All right? Using the Let's Go material. All right? So what I'd like to do is, I'd like to go ahead and just go into um, some things that we need to be doing. And the first step is we need to be creating a verb vocabulary in our students. And this begins at a let's begin level. So we have the let's move cards, which are fantastic. If we are using those as TPR commands, that's great. But we should really be drilling these students on remembering these verbs. Because the more verbs you know, the better you can communicate in another language. So what I have here is, I, I used Let's Go One here, because I didn't have a Let's Go, Let's Begin things. But these are the Let's Move cards here, all right? And if you take a look at those grammar support cards there, you're going to see structures like let's, please, and don't. All right? It's good to get these kids practicing this. Now, what's interesting is as a TPR command, if you use this, let's, this is something in which you and the kids can interact. So I'm just going to say, OK, and please follow me. OK, let's stand up. Let's make a circle. OK, well, pretend like we're making okay. a circle. <laughs> <laughs> let's make a line. Let's sit down. Good, 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 good. Now, that's when the teacher participates. Then what's good is to do something where the teacher doesn't participate. These are commands. And we then go, for example, please stand up. I'm going to fast forward here. Please sit down. Okay. Now, doing these commands, the next step is that we want the kids to actually be able to say these. All right? So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to just use Trey, that's okay. 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 Stand up. Good. Make a line. Good. Sit down. Good. Make a circle. Good. Stand up. Oh, good, 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 good. Having the students be able to say these commands, these, these uh, verbs, is really awesome because we're going to build on this later. Okay. Now, the next thing that we want to do, how many, how many people here are teaching Let's Begin? Good. Have you introduced the feeling cards? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though it's not taught in Let's Begin. That is awesome. That is really, really awesome because we want to start moving these students ahead. This becomes interactive. So, for example, it's not only important for the students to say, I am happy, I'm sad, sad. I am <laughs> angry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Good. 
good, good, good. Okay, it's not only important for these students to say this, but now to interact with the teacher on their real feelings. So, what we want to do is we want to introduce the question format, which is, are you? And as you know, in Japan, they have a circle, mono, and they have an X for but. So a very simple structure is, okay, everyone, hands, okay, and we're going to do a mono. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Good, good, good. And now, when you ask students, okay, please participate, okay? Are you happy? Yes, I am. Good. Are you sad? No, no I'm not. Good. Are you angry? No, no. <laughs> I'm waiting for a kid to disagree, and I want to point that out. I want disagreement. I don't want unison here. I want them to start telling me their true feelings. Are you hungry? No. no. Oh, me too. Okay. Are you thirsty? No. no. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Good. Are you hot? No. Yes. No, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Good, good, good. Are you cold? No, I'm not. Good. This may seem like a simple step, but it's the first step about getting your kids to be communicative. And later on, you can have your kids ask you this question. Right? So at a let's begin level, they already go into things like can you and do you. All right? And if you make reference in your packet, you're going to see a handout on let's go reference flashcards. And you'll see like do you like. Don't just use food cards. Use anything that, that's pluralized. All right? In the let's begin. If you start doing like, can you, go past that. Go into like, drive a car, fly an airplane. Once your students are into this can you pattern, you can start throwing more and more stuff at them because that's what they want. They want that kind of interesting thing. This is what we can do just at a let's begin level. Um, some other things is uh, we want to start um, on things like introducing verbing. Oh, I'm sorry, this by the way is the R can do. Getting your students to be able to respond to R can do is very, very key because we're going to be able to, uh, to expand on Okay? Another good step is what I like to refer to as verbing. Do you remember the the set in the junior high training packet. Okay. What's amazing is that you can go ahead and start introducing present continuous tense to let's begin students. Contrasting he and she. All right. You can do like he is cleaning, she is clean, he is cooking, she is cooking, he is um, sleeping, she is sleeping. The funny thing is, is that because these cards are black and white, as opposed to the color cards, it doesn't raise any kind of like question mark or difference among these kids. And before you know it, at let's begin level, you are introducing these kids to not only the root form of the verbs, but a present continuous tense level. All right? And they can just keep absorbing more. This is just what we can do at a let's begin level. Okay? At a uh, let's go one, what we want to do is we want to continue with these uh, uh, promoting, again, the let's move cards. Even though this is introduced at the end of the book, I recommend that you introduce it at the beginning and get into the whole structure of this. And just start, again, using the flashcards as support, asking, are you? Now what happens is, is that we want to expand the response pattern from a two-step response pattern to a three-step response pattern. 